Hey, 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 collective. It's been a minute, but I'm back. Thank y'all so much for rocking with me, being patient with me, all that good stuff. Y'all already know this is Sip This Tea to Roll. We about to tap in with Spirit. Get the tea on whatever situation it is Spirit wants you to know. Y'all keep in mind, all these messages are general. So they cannot and will not resonate with everyone. Collect and take what resonates with you and leave the rest, my loves. For sure, for sure. Y'all, y'all know the new moon is tonight, so we're going to get into some new moon energy. Holy Spirit, what does the collective have coming for them for this new moon? Y'all, listen to this. So even before we get started, I was sitting up and I was meditating. It was early this morning. Like early, early. I'm usually up probably about 3, maybe 4 o'clock in the morning. I don't know why, y'all. I just do. Anywho, I heard five changes and five steps. So a lot of y'all have changes that are coming to y'all. Yeah, somebody coming to y'all want to reunite some of y'all. But anywho, that's just the pre-shuffle. But we finna get into it and see what these five steps are. We're gonna pull five cards and see. We're gonna clarify to see what each step is. See what's coming towards y'all for this new moon energy. Again, thank y'all so much for being here. I miss y'all. Y'all know your girl been under the weather, but I'm feeling a lot better now. So yeah, we're gonna go on and get into this. Holy Spirit. What are these five steps that the collective need to take for this new moon? Let's get this, let's get this popping. Let's tell them what they need to take. All right, Holy Spirit. What's the first step? Woo! Ace of Pentacles. Strength. Two of Cups. Ten of Swords. Two, I mean, six of Swords. All right, y'all. So the overall energy is the Five of Pentacles. Some of y'all, it is very important for y'all to leave something out in the cold. It is very important for some of y'all to leave something out in the cold. I don't know if this is a person or if this is a mindset. But some of y'all need to leave something out in the cold. Because you got brand new opportunities coming in for you with this new moon energy. Yes, I love it. Come through. But it's very important for some of y'all to leave something out in the cold. Yeah, look. Some, whatever this is, it don't mean y'all no good. This could be some type of commitment that you were in, maybe even a marriage. It can have something to do with a Taurus, a, a Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, but this is something that don't mean you no good. It's not good for you emotionally or spiritually. It leaves you feeling sad in a lack mind state. But you don't talk about this. So really, right now with this new moon energy, it's time for you to work on your throat chakra and your heart chakra. Open that up so you can speak your truth about whatever this situation is. And you can move on. Calm down, whatever this is. And we're going to get into it. But we do have a two of cups here, y'all. So this could be like a soulmate connection. Or either you just feel like this your soulmate or somebody feel like you they soulmate. But we're going to see yeah, this could be dealing with the Earth sign or Leo. Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Leo with the strength card or air sign. But we shall see. Holy Spirit. What is coming up with this new moon energy for the collective? Let's clarify this Ace of Pentacles for us, Holy Spirit. Yeah, some of y'all got these brand new opportunities coming through. Some of y'all waiting on some money to hit, and it's going to hit, too. Yeah, it's like when you least expect it, it's going to hit. And this going to give some of y'all a boost of goddamn confidence. It's going to make your relationship better. Some of y'all don't get this new opportunity. It's going to kill your relationship. Yep. Somebody ain't going to be able to deal with how successful you are. And it's going to kill your whole entire relationship. Hmm. It could definitely be a Leo here somewhere in this situation. Yeah, we got the wait a minute, my car's in. We got the Queen of Cups right here. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Yeah, we got the Emperor on the bottom of the deck. Some of y'all with this new moon energy, 
Y'all be careful because some of y'all could get pregnant. I don't know if you're sleeping around or if you got this, but some of y'all could get pregnant with this new moon energy. Some of y'all, if y'all pregnant, be expecting like you could have your baby very, very soon. Others of y'all, y'all getting a brand new opportunity in love. Point blank, period. New moon energy finna hush y'all in. A whole new soulmate. Yep, Knight of Pentacles. It's like maybe offers were coming in to you slow. But I don't know. Something is about to pick up with this Ace of Pentacles because it go from the Knight to the to the Ace. So, yeah, something here with the new moon energy that was stagnant, it's about to pick up. This could have something to do with your love life. Ace of Pentacles, Holy Spirit. Yeah, the Tower. Who, okay, whoever I'm speaking to, this is about your, your love life. It's like something in your love life slowed down. Some of y'all here even lost a baby recently. And you're, you've are you been trying to get pregnant. But it's like time after time after time, nothing has happened. Something about this new moon is about to change. I just heard something about your hormones. Something with this new moon is about to change everything about that. And you're going to find out very soon that you are pregnant. Some of y'all finna get pregnant on this new moon. So if you don't want to have no baby, y'all better be real careful. Others of y'all, it was like your money was slowing down. Like I said, your money was coming in slow. And it was affecting your relationship. Like it was like arguments. You know, kept being like tower moments throughout the relationship because y'all are having money problems. And now everything, yeah, we got the high priestess on the bottom of the list. Everything is about to come through and just like whatever this opportunity is, it's going to put things back in, into perspective because this is a tower. Something is, is falling down to wake somebody the fuck up. I don't know if it's this Leo that's trying to, that spirit is trying to wake up, but somebody, spirit is definitely trying to wake somebody up here with this new moon energy. Somebody, okay, yeah, come through spirit. Somebody here, you also found a home that you absolutely love, but it's like you don't have enough money for it. Will of Fortune, you finna get the money for this house that you want. Whatever this house is, or whatever this is, you're about to, spirit about to open up after this and give you whatever it is you want. Some of y'all have been focusing real heavy on how you spend your money. And it's like you learn some type of lesson. Like you, you're, 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 you're pouring more into yourself. You're not freely giving your resources out to people. This could have been a piss some people off, but this is paying off in your favor. So, yeah, some of y'all, the new moon energy is ushering y'all in enough money to get whatever home this is. Strength for the Holy Spirit. Yeah, three of... New moon energy is also, also ushering in enough confidence for a lot of y'all to quit y'all jobs. A lot of y'all are going to be quitting y'all jobs because y'all getting a brand new opportunity where you ain't going to need this job. Others of y'all... Y'all have somebody else coming in, but see, the y'all already dealing with someone who y'all know put y'all in a third-party situation. And now you're building up your confidence with this new moon energy to let that situation go so, so you can usher in something new, something better. Somebody you can actually build with. But some of y'all, whoever this is getting this brand new opportunity, this money, and you're able to quit your job... This is going to allow you, like, a lot of money to help take care of your family. I saw the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, but we had a death card here, Scorpio Energy. Someone here has also gained enough strength, like I said, to get themselves out of a third-party situation with the Scorpio. Or Scorpio, you did this with this Leo, but take the energy how it resonates. Someone here is like, no, ma'am, no, sir. I'm done with this situation. I know it's better out there for me. I'm going to keep my love to myself. I'm tired of uh, you not making a decision. 
all this being slow about making a, a choice when it comes to me. Someone here also is about to kick someone out of their home because they they're tired. You want to keep dealing with other people? Go and deal with those other people. But you can no longer live here. Yeah, be prepared this weekend for somebody to beg the hell out of y'all to stay. Not this, Did I say this weekend? So yeah, it might be this weekend. But this new moon energy is giving somebody a boost of fucking confidence out of this world. And I am loving it. You are taking your power all the way back. What did I say? Ten of Pentacles just popped out here. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody know they good all on their own. Hold on, y'all. Sorry about that, y'all. I had to answer the door. But yeah, somebody with that Ten of Pentacles, they letting this whole situation, this third party situation go. I just heard this situation is very codependent. Someone here is very codependent on the other person. This person is tired of carrying everybody on their back. This could have something to do with your family and your friends. Like somebody in a family business is uh, going off on their own. And their family is not too happy about that. Yeah, it's like they're saying you're, you're moving away, but they're like, what are you going to do? Think, what if things don't work out the way that you plan on them? Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Whoever I'm talking to, you don't care because you done built your confidence up. You believe in yourself and you're moving on to go do bigger and better things. Whatever this is, it could cause you to have to move like to a different state. Some of y'all may be even a different country. But this is going to be very, um, very good for you and your possibly your children or even just yourself. But you do have some people who are like, no, this is not good. What are you going to do? This may not work out for you. Woo, woo, woo. These people are really trying to discourage you. Like I said, three of uh, ones. Someone here is having to relocate for a job. And you have someone here who is trying to stop you. So the new moon is ushering in this brand new opportunity. But I'm telling y'all, this could be someone you're in a relationship with. And they don't want to see you like do better than them. I see two people who can make it on their own. But one person is very much emotionally codependent on the other person. Someone here is also like, I'm done with all these third parties that you keep putting me in. I can do this by myself. I'm out of her. There's another group of y'all who are like this business. If this is a family business or this business is not bringing in any more money, it's time to look at something different. It's time, it's time to do something different. It's time to move on and find figure out something different. Two of cups, all the spirits, two of cups. Ooh, that flew. Yeah, look. Eight of wands. Okay, now there's a group of y'all who you left someone because they did put you in a third party situation. And you're like, no, I, I deserve better than this. And I'm moving away and I'm going to find it. This person is now wanting to come in and contact you, talk to you about whatever this is. Because this person is feeling hurt for whatever reason. It's like this person is hurt behind hurting you. Or possibly where they went, it wasn't what they thought it was. So now they want to come back and try to transform the situation here. person want to tell you how much they feel like you they soul mate yeah we had a five of one sir could be a fire sign like i said leo aries sagittarius also someone here could be watching someone's social media and if you have gotten with someone else after leaving this person this person is very upset so this person could be calling you or texting you or whatever the hell. Just trying to start shit with you because you don't want nothing else to do with them. You dead at the situation. This was a very arrogant person I'm feeling. This person never thought that you would leave. Yeah. Queen of Wands and the three of... 
Fire sign, definitely. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, this person is upset about how much attention that you get and the fact that you done turned your back on them. So now they like want to send you like a really nasty message or call you just saying harsh ass shit. Because they see that you're on to bigger and better things. You're not even worried about them. I just heard you choose yourself. You're definitely moving away from this situation. And this person is fucking delusional. You came out of whatever this illusion is that this person tried to keep you in. And you moved away. You know what you deserve. Like I said, you're the queen of wands. You're not finna de deal with anything that, that you know you don't deserve. Very beautiful person. Very intuitive. Very stern. So they already know if they come towards you with any bullshit, yeah, fight come with it. Not saying a physical fight, but you're very outspoken. And you're going you gonna to say exactly what's on your mind. And you're going to go on about your business. You're not going to deal with this mess. Ten of swords, Holy Spirit, Ten of swords. Night of Wands. Yeah, this person was a they they always was in their player ways and shit. Always looking for the next best thing. But see, the thing is, collective, they couldn't find nobody better than you. See that seven of cups, it's in the reverse. All them options that they thought they had, no, they turned out to be nothing. So this person is actually sitting back waiting on you. After running around on you, making these stupid ass offers to other people, yeah, whatever this third party is, this part, this third party or these third parties, they didn't want nothing to do with your person. Your person was just acting out of their ego. Your person got their goddamn feelings hurt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the devil on the bottom of the dead Capricorn energy. But yeah, this person was this. I I don't know. It's like a sexual addiction, or this person has an addiction to meeting people online. Also, if you have any type of platform, uh, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, I don't know what else there is out there. OnlyFans, this person watches you. This person sit back, watch, especially if you have something where you speak. This person listens to every word that you say. It's like this person is in tune to everything that you say. Someone here is also being given, uh, being given false information as well. You're being given false information. Someone was given, or they're going to be given false information that's going to make them dead a situation and move away from it. This, this, this person don't even see that whoever this is, they lying to them. Hmm. Yeah, look, listen, 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 Linda, listen, listen. <laughs> I got the King of Cups right here. Yeah, this um person now feels betrayed because they feel like you're leaving them behind. You're taking all your love back. You're exploring your options. You're just moving away from them, period. Also, some of y'all here, someone is getting tarot readings on you. Someone here is also, whoever this tarot reader is, they're giving this person misinformation. They are misguiding or misleading this person. Hmm. Whatever this information is that, that whoever is being given, it's what's causing the conflict in this situation. Someone is being spiritually misled. Yeah, ten of ten of wands. The fact that you don't want anything else to do with this person and you're moving ahead, burdens and all, is like really killing this person. It's really heavy on them that you don't need them. It's like, yeah, you love them and you got love for them and everything. You wish them well, but you want to go off and do your own thing because you don't put too much time and energy into this situation as it is. Only to be left in this Ten of Swords energy. 
Yeah, ice of cups. When I told the truth, will let me you offered this person love time and time again. Like I said, y'all, this is a this a lot of love in this situation. But somebody is tired of like carrying the load all by them damn all out of their damn self. It's like y'all two are on two totally different pages at this point. This person want to like rush in towards you, but this person, they got a lot of baggage, a lot of baggage. Somebody here could have went off and had another baby and they want to talk to you about that, but they think it's going to cause a lot of conflict, but unbeknownst to them, you're very intuitive. So most of y'all already know that this person left and went and had a baby with somebody else. Yeah, but now this person is stuck in a mental fucking prison. Emotionally, they stuck. They stuck on you, collective. This person can not get you off their mind, out of their heart. But see, you don't, you don't even, I don't even see you really thinking about this person. And if you do, it's like sporadically as fuck. Yeah, Knight of Swords, you're not rushing toward this person. Knight of Swords in the reverse. You are not rushing toward this person. You're rushing away from them. It's like, yeah, this person put way too many burdens on you. Left you with all the responsibilities and shit. Yeah, you love them, but hell no. I just heard somebody need to grow up. Yeah, look, you don't see no victory, no success, or nothing with this person. You don't want nothing else. You love them, but you're not rushing back into some bullshit. You're leaving it. You, I just heard I can love them from a distance. Yeah, but look, a lot of y'all, both of y'all in this situation, you and your person are both heartbroken. Some of y'all. Y'all are heartbroken as hell. Someone here is also coming, like a collective, you're coming. No, 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 no. Some of y'all are heartbroken, but most of y'all are coming out of this heartbreak and you're moving on. A lot of y'all are coming out. You didn't have enough. A lot of y'all have had enough. There is no growth, no expansion, no victory, no success in none of this shit. So you would just let it, rather let it go. 22-22, as I said that. Yeah, but some of y'all, y'all look, mm -mm -mm. Some of y'all ain't saying shit. Y'all just gonna leave. Like I said, a lot of y'all done had enough. You done cried your last tear. You done gave this all you got. You not gonna say a word. You just gonna leave. And this right here is going to make this person feel very, very much so defeated. Because it's like some of them know where you live. A lot of y'all are about to switch addresses. So they're not going to have no way to get in contact with you or nothing. A lot of y'all have blocked this person. But this person is definitely, yet. Yeah, like I said, a lot of y'all don't block. They're going to cut them off. You cut them off and moving on to bigger and better things. You ain't said a word. You're not going to say a word. Somebody didn't say a word. Take it how it resonates. Somebody is just like, fuck it, I'm gone. Not a word. If you have children, I see you taking the kids and just leaving. This person I ain't going to know where you at or nothing. Someone here is also looking through your social media collective to try to dig up some type of uh, information on you to like kind of try to like knock you off your throne but this is not gonna work this person is gonna be left feeling defeated as hell it's not gonna work out in their favor it's like they want people to look at you in a different light if you are a tarot reader they want people to think you don't know that you're giving out false information shit like that somebody here is very jealous very petty and they really just they want to get under your skin but spirit ain't finna let that happen. Spirit is cutting that shit out for you. Exactly. Eight of Swords in the reverse. You're not mentally stuck. You're not emotionally stuck. You cut that shit out. At one point, maybe you were. Now, hell no, nah, you're not. And you're looking for somebody. You're, you're on to somebody else. You have someone new coming in for you with this Knight of Cups right here, collecting. Yeah, possibly an air sign. This person is watching you. If this is not the person that's coming in for you, this is the other person. This person is sitting back watching you. This person could be a little bit younger than you. But this person is definitely watching you. 
and they tell they talking about everything that they see some people here are surprised by whatever this transformation is that you've had collective so you have people on your social media just like damn how in the i never expected such and such yeah and then you have somebody here who didn't believe in you just like watching you watching you they mad you got somebody pissed off about what they seen but someone definitely wants to communicate with you but i'm telling you somebody want to communicate with you just to try to piss you out and look what i got at the bottom of the deck the ace of swords that's the truth somebody could be coming through here just to saying something to you just to piss you out but it's not gonna work nine of swords in the reverse it's not gonna work this person trying to keep you stuck in your head, you going they gonna be stuck in theirs. Cause you I see you sleeping peacefully at night, baby. You not up at night worried about none of this. I just heard you carefree. You carefree in this whole situation. Yeah, look, and look, look at this person. Now this person, ten of swords, nine, ten. Whatever they had planned for you with this whole conversation that they coming towards you with collective, it ain't gonna work. Why conspiracy said no. Nope. You don't mess with my divine. This uh, initials B, J, C, X, V, W, T. They could be very significant in here. I don't know why. I just heard K. But yeah, somebody trying to plan.